So I'm going to show you how to use a particular reference manager called Mendeley. So a reference manager is a way to organize your research articles and can be useful for your overall thesis. Um, but for our purposes, it's very useful for literature review and annotated sources assignments because it helps you to put the article somewhere um, tangible and then also gives you an opportunity to read and annotate PDFs um, on any device. So that's sort of the beauty of this product. Um, there are many other options out there. I'm just telling you a little bit about Mendeley because it's the one that I'm most familiar with and it's also free. Um, so you can create a free account as a student, and it's available on Mac and PC. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through what it looks like, and then from there, um, you can go ahead and decide if it's something that you'd want to use to organize your research. So to create an account, you go ahead and type in your email address. And so I've kind of already done this, but um, I'm just putting in an account for myself here and then you hit continue and um, you want to include your field of study so for us they don't list um, education as a choice but they do list um, social science down here at the bottom so you can put social sciences because that is our general field of study for education and then you can put in your academic status too. So as master's students, you want to select master's students and then you can create your account. Now I've already done this, so my account will already be created. But um, once you sign into your account, you'll be able to find out that um, that there is a way to download the um, the desktop version of this program. So I'm actually going to pull up the desktop version for you just so you can see what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and get that for you. Once it loads. So yeah, and you can do this from Mac or PC so you don't have to choose um, generally one or the other. Okay, so now that I'm in the desktop version, what happens is you have this tab on the left side, which gives you a couple of different options. So the first up here where it says Mendeley gives you the option of doing a literature search. So you can even, just like I was showing you in the PowerPoint for our literature reviews, you can even find articles here. So, um, you know, if I said autism and behavior, and that was my areas of interest, I could click enter and then find a whole list of articles that tells me about these two topics. And then from there, it'll actually take me to, um, some websites that'll probably be able to provide me a PDF. But um, again, if it doesn't do that, you can also go ahead to the library website and find these articles using Eric or EBSCOhost like we did um, in the lecture. So that's the literature search. There's also this thing called Mendeley Suggest, which is providing um, you know suggestions based off of your areas of interest of articles that you might be interested in reading for more information. So you could do that too. Um, you just go to this website and you can sign up for that. But for now, I'm not going to do that. It's, it's sort of an extraneous piece. Um, what I'm most interested in is this piece, which is the library. So you can create folders for yourself to organize your articles. And um, I'll just show you one of mine here for literature review since that's what we're working on. But um, as you see, I have a lot of articles in here and you can organize them in several different ways. You can organize them by the author, the title of the article, the year it was published, or what kind of journal it was published in, or when you, you know, added it to the files. Um, and to do this, you basically are going into this um, bar here with the plus sign and you can choose to either add your files or if you have a folder full of articles you can add those um, you can add an entry manually just by typing in all the information um, now if you have the PDF file if you just add it 
this information on the right side that you see comes up automatically. So you don't have to go in and, and type all of this out for the citations, which is definitely very convenient if you're thinking about, you know, um, doing the the literature review or any other like larger paper like your thesis. So you don't have to go in like, you know, manually put in all the citations for your papers while you're doing things. Um, the nice thing about this too is it has this little like tool, which is a plugin for Microsoft Word. Um, I'm not going to go there now just because it's again a little bit extraneous for us, but basically if you set up the plugin right, you can actually just import the citations immediately. You don't have to go back and like remember how to cite it in APA, it actually will do it for you. Um, so it's a very useful tool that way too, it saves you a little bit of time with some of the APA parts as well. Um, and you can also change this information if something doesn't look right. You can change it. So like here, you see the authors are listed by first initial and last name. Um, you know, like you could change this if it's not APA appropriate um, to, you know, the formatting of the APA. Um, and if you're seeing, you know, you're forgetting some information, you can actually add things. But for the most part, this part comes up pretty automatically. Now, one thing you'll see here is there's these red um, file looking things on some of them and some of them don't have it. So this first citation I have here, I manually put it in because it's a book. Um, so I'm not going to have a PDF for that. But the second one is a PDF file because it's an article. So if I double click on this, I actually get an article in Mendeley that I can look at. So now I, I can go ahead and read this article and also I can highlight, if you see here where it says color. So if I wanna go and you know highlight in blue, I can go ahead and do that um, right here. And you know just say highlight. And now my highlighting is there. So you can highlight different parts of text or you can take notes. So I made a note here, um, remember this um, page. And then that note will come up. So you can do a lot of different little things in here to keep track of your articles. The other thing is you can put in private notes like the one I just created, or you can do some general notes about each article. So there's a lot of different ways to kind of organize and annotate. Um, if that's sort of your thing, you, if you like it, you know, you can definitely do that. So if we go back to the library, um, you can also do what's called filtering by tags. So again, on that right side where you're filling in all the information, you can tag articles. So let's say I, I know that this article is about teaching, um, it's about special education, and it's about um, uh, attrition. Okay, so those are my three tags now. And so if I look over on the left side, these tags now show up. So any articles that I use and I tag with those particular keywords will then come up in this little search here. So this is a good way of creating those themes that you have to do for your literature review. So that becomes a whole lot easier once you have something like this available to you. You can also create groups. So I have a research assistant that I'm working on a, a review with. And so, you know, we have this folder here, which has like our um, review documents and like, you know, has an overview. We can communicate back and forth on articles um, with each other if we're not together, if we're not meeting. And then we can actually put articles together um, for our particular literature review. And um, it'll list all your members in there. So you can do this collaboratively as well. And um, you're welcome to do this with me too. If you, you know, are interested in using this program and you want me to see the kinds of articles you're finding. So we want to, you know, create a group together where it's um, definitely available to you. It's a uh, technology tool that is free and um, readily available. And as I said, you know, you can create folders for different kinds of articles. You can do this. This is sync means that when you sync this, it'll sync the, the desktop version with what you have online. So let's say you forgot your desktop computer at home or you, you know, your laptop, sorry, at home. 
then you can go to a public computer and just go on the Mendeley website and log in and still get your article. So you can access your articles from a variety of spaces, which is really nice. Um, so back here again, if we go into this, the other thing you can do is you can kind of check off which articles you've read. So this is read or unread. And if you click here, you know, green means red, and then this gray means not read. And you can also star different articles you feel like, you know, are important to your particular task. Um, and then, you know, you have like a list of the notes from the articles. Again, you know, things that you can pull up pretty easily when you need to go back and refer to them. So this is just a, a tool. Again, you don't have to use it, but it's a, just a good way of organizing articles, um, especially as more articles are now coming online. It's just a, you know, a tool that you could or could not use. So if you have questions about it or if you want to know more, um, you can email me and I can, you know, explain a little bit more about how it works. Um, if not, you know, that you're fine not to use it. You can also like organize your articles in general folders or you can, you know, print them out and keep them in a binder. You know, that's sort of your your call. Um, but I just wanted to give you the option. So um, hopefully you enjoyed learning a little bit about Mendeley.